So, in the previous video, you learned about the correlation matrix and the Pearson's test. The Pearson's test assumes that your data is normally distributed. In reality, that's often not the case. So, I'm just going to show you the non parametric version uh, tests that you can do um, to also get a correlation matrix. Um, Unfortunately, under the regression and correlation matrix, it doesn't allow you to check whether your data is normally distributed. And so what you would have to do beforehand is go to descriptives. Um, let's look at the extremes of score, which we know is not normally distributed. And let's do a normality test. And here we see that the extremes of score is not normally distributed. Once we've done the descriptive test, what we can do is we can go to the correlation matrix. We can add all the variables that we want to test in here. And at the moment, Pearson is selected by default. Now, right below, you'll see the Spearman's test and the Kendall's Tau B. All you'll need to do is unselect the Pearson's and select uh, either Spearman or Kendall and you'll get a correlation matrix here. Um, and then the results will appear here. Again, you interpret it very similar to um, the Pearson, except obviously it's a non-parametric test. All right. 